So today we're going to do a walk around inspection, show you lights working, cold start, and a test drive of this beautiful 1992 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Convertible. There's a mouthful. Yeah. So here you, can, you see it's finished in that beautiful quasar blue metallic. This is absolutely beautiful color on these cutlasses. One probably one of the best colors that they offered. And this car is in excellent condition. And you'll see that as we go around. I'm going to use that word a lot. There might be a couple little minor flaws here and there. This car is definitely well above average for its age. And this fender is in excellent condition with the exception of maybe just a few little stone chips. A few minor scratches here. They do have the factory Oldsmobile wheels. The alloy wheels. And they are showing a little bit of age. The finish isn't 100%, but they are in very good condition for the age. Come around to the front bumper. See, it is in excellent condition. Free of any heavy stone chips or uh, cracking in the paint. All of your headlights are clear. There is one touch up here on the side of the bumper cover. You do have a couple little stone chip touch ups on the hood. A little grouping there. But other than that, the hood is in excellent condition. No dents or dings. Paint is in excellent condition. Shines very well coming over to the passenger side front fender there is a little small ding here and a scratch about yay long and then about a one inch scratch on top of the fender other than that the fender is very straight paints in excellent condition Again, this wheel showing about the same amount of age as the driver's side front. And the tires are a little older. Uh, starting to show a little bit of age. Coming across the windshield, the windshield's in excellent condition. Very clear, no cracks or chips. Your mirror's in excellent condition. Your passenger side door shows in excellent condition. No real flaws to note. The top on this car is in excellent condition. Shows very well, no heavy pinch marks, no tears at all. All the seams are nice and tight. You do have that nice glass rear window with the added defrost. And I have the car locked. There's some light aging cracks. But coming into the interior, you notice that the passenger side door panel is in excellent condition. You get the switches for the power windows and the power door locks. The bottom of the doors are very clean. Your door sills, transition panels are all in excellent condition. Passenger seat, the leather is in excellent condition. No heavy cracks. No tears of any kind. The dash pads in excellent condition. Showing little to no age. Carpet doesn't have any heavy wear or fading into it. And then the back seats as well are in very good condition. You do have that cool kind of center console in the rear. shut nice just like they should your passenger side rear quarters in excellent condition with no defects of any note now the side of your bumper cover does have a touch up right there that showing you across the trunk lids in excellent condition maybe a couple little very very minor <laughs> touch ups getting really nitpicky with those but overall in excellent condition and the car is in excellent condition. Yeah. You could show this car 
They show up very well. It's a yeah. color you don't see very often on these. Bottom of your trunk lid's in excellent condition. You do have the bag for the boot, which the boot is still in there. And the boot's in very good condition. You'll see in the pictures. It is. And inside your trunk, the lining is in excellent condition. You can tell if anything was ever put in here, it was very carefully. All the lining's complete. And all your plastic lenses are in excellent in condition. condition. Yeah, I always like these taillights with the Oldsmobile emblems in them. This side of your bumper cover is in very good condition. Maybe a couple little minor scuffs. I do have a little scratch on your gas cap or fuel mm -hmm. door. But again, the top on the side is in excellent condition. Just like the other, just like the passenger side, your driver's side rear quarters in excellent condition. The car overall is extremely straight. This door, you do have a little bit of chipping here at, on the trim and just some real minor chipping on the edge of the door. Probably from just getting in and out. But otherwise presents excellently. Coming in, you'll notice the driver's side door panels in just as excellent condition as the passenger side. You see a lot of switches for all your power options, your automatic windows, your dual power mirrors. And one cool thing is it does have the all four windows down for yeah. 1992 if you hold the two back buttons, which is kind of neat. And you'll see that working. Again, your driver's side rear seat is in excellent condition. Your driver's seat's in very good condition. A little bit of wear on the bolster, typical for a car this age, but overall the leather is in excellent condition. Nice and pliable. It's definitely been conditioned regularly. Carpet's still in excellent condition as well as the dash and all of the buttons are very legible on your steering wheel on your cruise your wipers all of them i mean this car has been very well maintained Forty-five thousand four hundred fifty-one miles so a very low mile car, very factory on the interior. So the factory radio. We'll come in and look under the hood. See a very clean and well cared for engine compartment with that 3.1 liter fuel injected V6 engine. very unmolested under the engine under the hood engine is extremely stock go ahead and go inside and fire it up I'll show you some lights work
So this is a blast from the past. <laughs> yeah. Comfortable blast from the past. Yeah. So now we're gonna go for a test drive in that beautiful 1992 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Convertible. That 3.1 liter just fires up, just like you'd expect from a well-maintained fuel injected. <laughs> Low mile car. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this car, and it just purrs. I mean, comes to us. Uh, we actually acquired the vehicle from some Oldsmobile collectors. And they're part of the Oldsmobile community and clubs. Yeah. Uh, there's a number of Oldsmobiles. Yeah. And it it doesn't take long once you start looking at this car to realize why an Oldsmobile collector would be interested in this vehicle. It's low miles, just over 45,000 original miles. And the car, the overall condition is excellent with this car. Oh, absolutely. The exterior is excellent. It's that awesome quasar blue metallic, so it's a beautiful color. Yeah. That white top and this graphite interior, I mean, it's just an awesome color combo on this car. And you don't see this color. The, no. the quasar blue, you just don't see it. Um, and the car, yeah, it's overall in excellent condition. All original. And it runs and drives amazing. Yeah. Running around this turn, it's handling very well. It's doing 50 miles an hour and just purring. No misses, no hesitations. This car's been very beautifully maintained and coming up to about 60 miles an hour. It's the same. I mean, hands off the wheel. They have great cruising cars. So not only has it been cosmetically maintained, to just be at that collector status. I mean, it is one that you can just get in jump in turkey and go look cruising car show. Super comfortable too. I mean, they, these leather seats are extremely comfortable. Plenty of padding. Yeah, and actually for a four-seater convertible, there's actually decent room in the back seat. You know, it's not cramped like a lot of... The one I love is it's got buckets in the back seat. Yeah, and there's just with cool. a center console, which is just, it's yeah. different. For, especially for the back seat. I mean, everyone was trying to be different come out with new features and this car is loaded for the early 90s. I mean power windows, automatic power windows, four well four windows you can put down on just yeah. two, two buttons. Um, I mean the power steering, power front disc brakes, uh, steering wheel controls, yeah. and all the steering wheel controls work just like they should. Automatic AM climate. FM CD, yeah, automatic climate control. Air conditioning is ice cold in the car. All your gauges work, but yeah, everything on this car works. Power mirrors. Yeah, the convertible top goes up and down. Excellent. I mean, everything about this car is excellent. Yeah. The boot cover for the convertible top is in excellent condition, and it still has the the bag from the factory for that boot. We have the window sticker on this car. Yeah. So it's got nice documentation. The original purchase agreement yeah. from the original dealer. 3.1 liter, it, it's a pretty peppy engine speed. I mean, yeah. It has no problem pulling this car down the road. I mean, if you want to drive sportingly, you can do so in this car. I mean, it's a proper sports car. And they're rated for fairly good fuel economy. I know from the factory, they're rated for 19 in town and 29 on the highway. Yeah. So it's, you know, which is not bad. And, you know, this car came out in that time frame in like the late 80s, early 90s, where each of the manufacturers are adding, you know, plastic body moldings and, you know, trying to be a little bit more stylish than the next one. So this generation, the Cutlass Supreme, got the that kind of European, oh, yeah, you know, the, arrow kit on the body, which, you know, kind of... The duckbill spoiler on the back, yeah. just little things, but I mean, it did enough to really set this car apart from yeah. the standard, like, on the Sierra or something. So it gives it... A, you know, a neat, sporty flair. It does. It, 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 it's one that's done an up-and-coming classic. It's one that is becoming collectible. Yeah. And they're appreciating it. So it's a great way to get yourself into the collector car market. With a, it is a collector-grade classic car. I mean, this car is 30 years old. Yeah, and it is collector-grade, as you say. And, you know, these generations of vehicles are not saved and kept in this type of condition. They were used, they were tools, yeah. you know, not collector collector cars. Guys didn't sit on them and expect them to 
to appreciate, but so they're going to be hard to find. And this condition is it's going to be hard to duplicate this condition of car and find it again. Absolutely. You know, even with 45,000 miles, it's it's a great car. It is absolutely definitely yeah. definitely a rock solid example of a 92 Cutlass.